and welcome back. In the last video, I did a sort of speed run through the engineering design process. In these next videos, I'm going to go into more depth about each step, starting with this video, which is all about defining the problem. As I mentioned before, the first part of the design process is actually figuring out what problem it is you want to figure out a solution to. The global goals are really broad challenges, but for the do your bit challenge, and generally for most engineering design projects, you'll want to focus on a specific problem. Since this is your project, that means you can choose to take on something that you really care about or something you've noticed and feel like you want to fix. For example, if the theme this year is quality education, I would think about challenges in that theme that I care about. In my case, that's engineering education. One of the problems I'm interested in tackling is the fact that there are fewer girls who study engineering than boys. So for me, I would define that as my problem. For this first activity, take a few minutes to come up with some problems that you're interested in that fit into this year's themes and write them down in your design notebook. It can be something in your own community, something around the world. There's no right or wrong answers because it's personal. One more thing before you start, you don't need to come up with solutions just yet. That's for the next video. I know it might seem weird to figure out problems without solutions, but it'll be helpful for later in the design process. Okay, you can pause now. What if you feel like you're still having trouble defining the problem? Maybe it's a theme you just don't know that much about. Let's say the theme this year is life below water. That one would be a bit tricky for me because the truth is I just don't know that much about the topic. As I've already mentioned, I am still not an octopus. But that's okay. That's where research comes in. I would go online or to the library and learn everything I can about underwater life to understand what the challenges are. For instance, if I go to the UN Global Goals website, I learn that there's problems with overfishing and pollution. But I wouldn't stop there. I would also do something called user research. For the first activity, you were using your own observations to think about challenges you might tackle. But what if you want to go beyond what you know? Or what if you want to check that the problem you came up with is something that other people deal with too? That's where user research comes in. So what is user research? Actually, backing up, what is a user? The user is the person who the problem affects and will eventually use whatever solution it is you make. Your users might be your friends, family, people on the other side of the world. It might even be you. If we go back to my first example of quality education, the people it most affects are probably students and teachers. What about life below water? Well, actually, I would say at least some of the users are water life. But since I'm not planning to interview a jellyfish, the human users are people who might work near water or in water, like uh, people in the fishing industry or scientists who study aquatic life. User research is how a designer better understands how certain problems affect people and what they need. You do user research in a number of ways. Talking to users, doing an interview, sending a survey, even just watching them. The important thing is you're learning from the user. You may think somebody has a certain problem, but until you actually ask them, you won't know. So what do you actually ask them about? Let me demonstrate by doing an interview with uh, my twin sister, Schmasman. For this example, I'm going to make up my own topic instead of using the global goals. Let's go with desserts because everyone loves desserts. Hi, Schmasman. Thanks for letting me interview you today. Hi, Jasmine. Happy to help. Um, it's really obvious you're just me with a hat and glasses. No, I'm not. All right. Well, I'm going to do a design project that has to do with desserts, but first I want to do some user research to get ideas about the kind of dessert related problems people face. To start with, can you tell me why desserts are important to you? Uh, is there anyone desserts aren't important to? I mean, for me, desserts are important because they're delicious and they make me happy when I eat them. Yeah, that's great. Um, so what are some challenges or problems related to desserts that you face? Well, for one, I'm not always allowed to eat desserts instead of dinner, and that's really sad. And for another, they're not always healthy, but they taste so good. But I'd say that my biggest problem is that my twin sister, Jasmine, keeps breaking into my room and stealing my chocolate. Hmm, yeah, I'd love something that could protect my chocolate. Okay, thank you, that's really helpful. 
I know that's a problem a chock a lot of other people face too. Based on my user research, I've decided I'm going to define my problem as people break into the user's room to eat all her chocolate. Now it's your turn. Interview each other to identify problems that your group has experienced related to the global goals. Some of the questions you might ask are, what do you think is important about this global goal? Or how does this goal affect you or someone you know? You might find that one question leads to another. Try coming up with your own questions too. If you already came up with some ideas of the problems you wanna tackle in the first activity, now's a good time to ask more specific questions. For instance, if you know that you wanna do a project with pollution, you might ask questions specifically about that, like what do you do that might cause pollution or what do you do to reduce pollution? All right, you can pause now. Hopefully you've gotten some useful information to help you define the problem you wanna solve. But if not, feel free to do some research online, interview friends and family, or even do a survey. For the next video, you should have identified a problem or maybe even a few problems that you wanna solve for the Do Your Bit Challenge. I'll see you next time.